Hey buddies, welcome to another episode on Kaya Come As You Are Mental Health Talk Series. It's your host Nancy Udenka. I want to thank everyone for tuning in on my previous episodes. I think this should be our third episode and I'm so happy and grateful for the progress so far. It's been I've been getting quite um, a number of f- um, feedbacks, not a lot a lot however the little i'm getting motivates me further to keep on you know recording for someone out there you know so thank you so much guys for tuning in for watching on my youtube channel for listening on podcast however means you're listening to my voice talking to you i want to really appreciate you on that thank you guys for the groups on kaya and i really appreciate so today guys um i will be talking about a very important topic i don't know what it is you're going through right now i don't know how you are feeling right now you must be feeling like you want to give up on something you had plans you had dreams or there's something you have you have set out to do and you're trying to like you know you want to give up you're about taking that final step to quitting something significant to please listen to this podcast to the end and i assure you you're going to have a change of hearts listen to the end hello um actually very grateful since you're still listening obviously so i want to like um talk about um reasons why you shouldn't give up at least not now why did you start in the first place i mean the the plans you had that you're about giving up on you know the struggles you're you're encountering in something you're working towards why did you start it in the first place i feel like um you know you know this saying that says when you feel like quitting think about why you started it's very important to actually think about why you started your venture and whether the reason still holds true you know what changed Do you still have the same needs? Is it just as important to keep on going as when you first started? Or has the need decreased? You know, reassessing your reasons for beginning can actually give you an insight on whether you need to persevere or quit. Whatever you decide, just make sure that you have given it some thoughts as to why you started in the first place. I'm going to be using myself as an example. Honestly, guys, honestly speaking, I actually wanted to stop this podcast series. Um, this topic is actually me talking to myself after much decision, you guys. I I was at the brink of deleting my channel on podcast and also um you know deleting the two episodes I, I have already on, on YouTube. It's because I feel like why am I doing this? Am I strong enough to even talk about mental health? Like, who am I? You know this negative self inside us that just makes us doubt our capabilities without even allowing us to try something new? That is why this particular topic is very important to me in as much as I'm trying to share it out there. Because I feel like when I'm, if I talk about it, um, I'm, I might feel be- well. I will feel better to an extent. At least I won't delete the channel or or delete the video I posted on YouTube about this Kaya Mental Health Talk series. Because I feel like who is who is listening, who is watching. You know, when you suddenly have lesser views, less than hundred views on YouTube, or when you when you don't even have much um outreach on podcast or something but then i have to ask myself why did you start in the first place why did you start this series so when i was able to answer the question i was like okay this is it another another thing to consider before giving up is asking yourself are you giving up too soon nancy yes are you giving up too soon you just started you know even if you you've done something for over a year depending on the depending on the gravity if that is the word i'm looking for of your plan of your venture of your of your journey it it it, it will determine 
the length of time you've tried it out and you think it's not working in many pursuits we may not get the results we hope for immediately you know the beginning can can often be the hardest and if we if we try to persist we can actually get a breakthrough in that persistence is the key you know have you given your endeavor enough thoughts to feel no regrets if you end it do you think if you end now and no matter what you will not regret it you won't feel what if i had not given up what if what if will you will it become a matter of what if is there a chance that in the future you'll be wondering what could have been if you had not given up maybe you should give your pursuit a set of um, a certain amount of time before giving up you know for example like i said maybe for someone that wants to start up a youtube channel and it has been a lot of work for a couple of months i don't see the kind of results you expect people like me you know should you give up or give it more time you are receiving quite a number of good feedback and you're starting to get new subscribers and all new um, new listeners on your podcast you're, you feel like giving up but maybe you should give it another three months or thereabout and see what happens at least you, you you know you have given yourself the best shot and you are not left wondering what would have happened if you had waited a bit longer you also have an end in sight if things doesn't improve before you give up guys before you give up assess if you have given yourself a realistic amount of time to achieve your goal realistic in quotes because most times we give ourselves unrealistic amount of time thinking once we start this it's supposed to happen within one week within two weeks you know you have to give yourself realistic amount of time to achieve your goal depending on the, the 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 gravity or rather the weight of your plans you know it could be business plan you know it could be uh it could be skincare plan you have it could be um gym that's fitness you know it could be literally anything if something is not working out as you as you hoped for give yourself a time limit before you quit you know in in, in that case you 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 will see an end insight if things doesn't doesn't eventually turn the way you envisaged it to be I also want to point out, um, like I mentioned in the last point I just said, do you did you expect it to it, it to be easy? <laughs> Nothing good comes easy, honestly. Maybe you just expected things would be easier, and now it's becoming painful when it doesn't work out the way you had planned it. But sometimes you just have to struggle to succeed. What doesn't kill you does what makes you stronger. Maybe you feel as though you're failing, but this doesn't always have to be a negative thing you can learn from your mistakes you can even fail and learn from that failure you know and persevere and you know perseverance can actually pay dividends if your objective is important enough if you look back on some of your major achievements in life chances are that at some stage you might have even considered giving up but you didn't and now you know you achieved that thing you may feel that you are working a lot harder than you planned or that you imagined when you set out. You may not be sure if all the time the efforts you are putting in will pay off. There is no way to be sure, honestly speaking. If you don't think the investment will be worth the reward, it might be time to give up. But if you think you'll be rewarded for sticking with the project, even though it's more difficult than you thought, then it will be worth it then it's what's continuing you have to like you know keep it up it's not going to be easy but if at the end of the day you know that this is actually going to yield fruits our advice to remain patient give it time you know give it time it's not going to be easy and like i use myself as an example with this podcast channel and my youtube channel sometimes there is this negative self-talk that gets to me which I, I would like to assume it's, it happens to literally everybody. This negative part of us that counters the positive ones when we try to encourage ourselves to something. There's this self-doubt that comes in and like, are you, you're, not, you're not good at this. Why are you doing this? Are you, you know, it just makes you doubt a lot of things in you. I think there's this negative self in everyone that counters our positive self. You get excited about a new endeavor you start out and then the negative self-talk just creeps in 
it can affect you in a very powerful way it's the voice in your head that tells us that we are not good enough that you can't possibly succeed that you must be crazy for thinking you can make it go for it oh my god guys i get a lot of these negative self thoughts a little self criticism can be useful it can be a, a reality check you know but negative self-talk can really impede your success so if you tell yourself something is impossible because you are not good enough eventually you will stop trying it leads you to focus on your failures and stops you from seeing opportunities and capitalizing on them it limits your thinking the more you tell yourself you can't do something the more likely you are to believe it you need to get out of the mindset that you can't you need to recognize that you, your current way of thinking may be self-defeating and that you need to look at things from a different perspective. You know, like try to turn the way you're seeing this thing around and see it from a different perspective. Try to find the good in the situation and consider your own strengths rather than weaknesses. If you find many of your thoughts are negative, try to challenge them and see them for what they are. Because when your state of mind is generally positive, you are more able to cope with stressors in a, in a constructive way. You need to really examine what you say to yourself and see if this is realistic or just a pattern of thoughts you fall into which says you can't succeed. I asked a friend how she gets motivated each day. As funny as it may sound, each morning she said, I speak positive things to myself looking at the mirror. She says, I can do this you're strong like i'm strong i will succeed today today is my best day trials may come but i shall overcome them today is beautiful i am blessed i'm happy i'll give testimonies no she keeps repeating positive things to herself and it works out for her there is power in positive um declarations actually it has been working for her i think on quite a number of occasions i've tried it out myself even when even uh, um initially it was funny to me but it actually works out but you know most times it doesn't even occur to us to actually um positively talk to ourselves like let's say prophesy to ourselves you know to tell yourself you're good today is a good day you're going to successful today you know things like that the same way negativity has an impact in our lives in our success in everything we do the same way positive thoughts positive thinking actually influences our thoughts our outputs our success as well now the last but not the least point i wanted to i want to chip in in this part because i said to share it in a, a part one and part two just not to make it so long or boring to us so i'd like to share this um particular don't give up um episode into two to enable us to actually be able to implement them in our daily life in our thinking you know in our daily declarations and activities now are you expecting too much of yourself like are you expecting everything to be perfect it's okay not to be perfect honestly for someone for some of us myself included i'm not even going to lie that loves perfect things like all the plan has to come out perfectly this way it doesn't happen always with me though but on some occasions i just think that this should be perfect and at the end of the day it doesn't really work out that, that way i've planned it and it throws me off it's okay not to be perfect there's a difference between striving for excellence and demanding perfection of yourself it's all a matter of balance you need to accept that you will make mistakes learn from the mistakes and you move on failure is an inevitable part of life but you cannot let it define you it's not the end as long as you're willing to get back up and try again and try again there is nothing wrong with being cautious anyway but focusing too much on avoiding mistakes or failures can be counterproductive you might even waste valuable time perfecting a task that when it's like perfecting a task when it will be more productive for you to have moved on to another thing if you're a perfectionist like me you know, in one in one way you may need to relax your standard a little nancy don't be too critical 
of yourself don't worry about tiny mistakes and imperfections in your work in your education in your career you know don't let those be your reason to quit don't set yourself up for failure make sure your 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 goals are reasonable and has realistic time don't set your goals out of reach you know especially when you're just starting out you can increase or raise your goals as you go along as you've learned as you've made mistakes as you've learned from them that's how you grow you know high achievers tend to tend not to be perfectionists you can actually ask people that are more self-organized how things have been for them most people just take it as it comes they are open to changes they are open to mistakes because they know that mistakes failures are inevitable it comes along the path of success so if we are going to make it you need to be open to certain to certain um trials to certain struggles to certain failure or mistakes you know so it doesn't you have to like make yourself pre be prepared for that this is the first part of before you give up listen please it's for me like i said it's for you that's listening it's for your friends it's for your family it's for everyone just before you give up i hope you listen to the end of this podcast i'll be posting the second part next week hopefully this one goes a long way to you know motivate you into not giving up until then see you guys bye don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow my podcast channel as well Give this video a thumbs up and you know until we until we meet again stay blessed